Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Real Talk here on TV 35. I'm your host Pat Brock and yes it's that time of year again for the holiday extra extravaganza at the First Church of the Nazarene and we've got the women's ministry with us. Hi ladies, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. It's hard to believe it's been a year already. Yes. Oh my Lord. Now listen, we want to talk about you all and tell us about how last year went but introduce yourselves to everyone out there. I'm Tina Foskey. I'm Arkita Hicks. What is your title with church, First Church of the Nazarene, the women's group? We are on the Women's Ministry Council. Okay, okay. I, I am also on the council, and my husband is the pastor, so I am the pastor's wife. Very nice. Now listen, how did last year go? We had the opportunity uh, to be with you all that day, and for, on our end, it was wonderful. We had a great day uh, last year. We had over 400 people there, oh, wow. and uh, people would come through and meal, and they even sat at the cafe and talked and enjoyed each other's company. And not only that, they also uh, were able to get their pictures made with Santa Claus, yes. and uh, they were able to shop, shop many, many wonderful booths that we had last year, and we very much enjoyed it. That's right, and we want you all to be able to take part of it this year. And so it's November the 8th, is that correct? 18th. The 18th, excuse me, November 18th, what time? Saturday from 10 to 4. From 10 to 4. And tell us a little bit about your uh, the women's ministry so that they'll know who you are and why coming out um, to support this is a good thing. Our women's ministry not only um, is within our church, but we're also outside the church. We try to do many different things throughout the year to uh, support women. And, uh, you know, this day and time, things are difficult for many, many people. And a lot of people uh, need much more support, and we try to do that. We naturally just seem to fall into mentoring. It seems like the younger that needs mentors, uh, of the older group, that just all happens naturally within the group. And uh, we also do, uh, ch we help charities. Mm -hmm. We. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, provide for for different charities throughout the year and we also get together ourselves and just have a really good time and that's a wonderful wonderful thing because we had talked about that a little bit last year just talking about the women that you have involved in your women's ministry and Tina with you talk to us a little bit about what you're going to be doing during this particular extravaganza okay I'm actually a vendor with Pampered Chef mm -hmm. and one of our um, the holidays is a great time for us because right. it lets us fulfill our mission statement, which is to enrich lives one meal and one memory at a time. Mm -hmm. And we'll have kitchen tools for every um, everything that you need for your holiday entertaining and your holiday and family get-togethers. Mm -hmm. um, we will be featuring lots of gifts, gift items and ideas that day. We have gifts for all ages and all price points. Yeah. Um, one thing that we're focus focusing on this year is D DIY Christmas. Mm -hmm. Bake your own Christmas. So we're doing a bake, to own, bake your own gifts. And this is our mini fluted pan mm -hmm. that is new this year. So you can make individual cakes for yes. gift giving. Um, we also have for our kids mm -hmm. the um, holiday cookie cutters. These come in a set of seven. They mm -hmm. snap together with all the designs on there. There's never a cuter way to get your kids in the kitchen and involved with you this way. Another gift that we have is called our pancake blender bottle. Mm -hmm. You can actually make pancakes in the bottle here. It gives you the measurements and the pictures of right. what to put in there. Great for the kids um, to get your um, family involved in breakfast time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you can do six or 12 at the time there. Love that. Um, another thing that we have is the whipped cream maker. You can actually make whipped cream in this in 20 seconds. You can um, flavor it with any kind of flavorings. Right now I'm doing cinnamon and nutmeg for mm -hmm. our pumpkin pies that we're doing for Thanksgiving. You can put peppermint, for cho um, peppermint or chocolate mm -hmm. for um, Christmas time. That's great. I have a dip, like whip, making your whipped cream, if you've never made it before, it's a beast. You've got to make sure that it's the right consistency and that if you're not using a certain type, 
the mixer type thing, the right hand motion, mm -hmm. that's wonderful. That's right. It incorporates the air. You can also use that for scrambled eggs. Makes your eggs real fluffy. How long have you been doing this? 14 years. Within the military community, I remember so many wives mm -hmm. that uh, either sold pamper chef or you go into the homes and you saw it mm -hmm. all over the place. And this is really a convenient thing too. I mean, it makes cooking fun and easy. That's right. And speaking of like the type vending you're going to have, talk to us about some of the other vendors because uh, if you did not have an opportunity to visit uh, last year, you missed out uh, <laughs> quite a bit. There were a lot of great vendors there, yes. a lot of uh, wonderful, to just to see the, the craftsmanship and yes. the gifts and talents and the people that we have here was, was really nice. We'll have uh, three different jewelry vendors. Mm -hmm. One is uh, Southwood Designs, and you'll hear from her in a moment. Okay. We'll also have Lula Rowe. We will have uh, Cakes by Nell's Daughter. That is one of our most popular um, yes. uh, booths, and we do absolutely love her, oh, her cakes great. and pies. We'll also have um, Gigi's Plus, mm -hmm. and we'll have uh, Classic uh, Florist and Home Decor. We will also have um, uh, phase candles and mm -hmm. so you know there's it goes on and on the list goes on and on we will have Mary Kay she'll be oh, doing wow. demonstrations and we have many that uh, everybody will be very interested in. And so what did you do to get the vendors I mean you know um, because you sound like you got some different ones that I remember from last year what did you do to get the vendors to want to take part in this? Uh, well, we, we looked for interest. Mm -hmm. uh, we looked at other vendors uh, right. that we had seen before. Mm -hmm. We also uh, sent invitations for okay. people to come. Mm -hmm. These people um, were invited. Um, and we wanted to make sure that as we chose vendors that we had things that would interest not only women but also their husbands. Very good because we want men to shop That's here. Right, we do. Yes, <laughs> Tina. We do. We also will have Santa Claus there. He will make an appearance from 11 to 2. Mm -hmm. So this will be a great photo opportunity for your family to bring your kids and grandkids to come. And, and this has a lot of great gift ideas for Christmas because Christmas is around the corner. That's so hard yeah. to believe. It is. It's yes, approaching it is. fast. <laughs> and so, what what feeling does it give you, ladies, to take part? In and what you do year after year after year? Well, it just provides a sense of community, mm -hmm. and, and that's one, one of the missions of our church is to reach out to our community and to be that light. Mm -hmm. So that's what we want to do. We want to shine and um, be a light in the community. Very good. First Lady. Uh, we, we love being together and planning these things, too. Uh, as a group, we love that. Yeah. But we really do want to reach our community. We That's want to, to people to know that uh, we love the Lord and we, we have something to stand for. We also want them to know that they are so very, very welcome in our church, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not just in our services, but also right. in events that we have. And um, we, we want to... Be, we reach out to our community. We mm -hmm. also enjoy the things that we are able to do for others. And one of the things that we've changed this year mm -hmm. is our mission. You can pay to enter uh, right. $2 for adults and a dollar for children. Right. Anything under three is free. But we also have the opportunity to bring non-perishables. And good. those non-perishables will go to the Christ Episcopal Church mm -hmm. food pantry. And we're really excited about that. We are That's hoping Right. to collect much for this food pantry wow. because they do so much for the community too. Look at the ministry behind this. Everything that you do, regardless of what it is, is ministry. And you all, you all treat it as such, don't you? We do. We yeah. do. We like to have fun and we like to have lots of fun. But we also feel like people need to know that as Christians, we can have a really good time and serve the Lord. All right. Amen. Give a message to the people out there of Dublin Lawrence County um, about the holiday extravaganza, about your faith and um, whatever message you want them to receive from this. We really would like for you to come out to our holiday extravaganza and shop with us. Um, come taste some great food. Um, it will be on November the 18th, 10 to 4. We hope to see you there. Uh, we do enjoy what we do. We, um, we want others to know how much we can enjoy the uh, Christian life and 
I know that there are times when we suffer, but we also have those that are in this community mm -hmm. to uh, support us and to be with us and to uh, just be that love of Christ here on earth. Amen. And thank you too for being a shining example of that. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back in a moment. At Hometown Supply, locally owned and operated, means something to owner Glenn Register. And from the time you walk into Hometown Supply, you'll feel the difference. And you'll find a great selection of appliances to choose from, including stoves, dryers, refrigerators, freezers, and more. Hometown Supply offers quality new and used appliances to fit your budget. Open an account today. Hometown Supply delivers. Hometown Supply, locally owned and operated. When my daughter got engaged, she wanted an outdoor wedding. She walked up and she said, this is it. It was just a beautiful setting for the photography. The caterer could go in and out this door without any problem. The daughter and all 11 bridesmaids were in here. There was plenty of room for them to hang out. Everybody loved the atmosphere of the entire venue. If you want to book this venue, you don't wait. We're booking up fast and you don't want to miss out on that special day that you have set to have your special event. Dublin Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram announces the Raminator, the world's fastest monster truck, on display November 4th at 10 a.m. at Dublin Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Next to the bypass on 441 in Dublin, this monster truck holds the Guinness World Record. Come see this 10-foot tall, 12-foot wide, 10,500-pound monster truck, complete with 2,000 horsepower, alcohol-powered, supercharged Hemi engine. Come one, come all to experience the Raminator the world's fastest monster truck on display at Dublin Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram November 4th at 10 a.m. We'll see you there. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, with the First Church of Nazarene talking about the holiday extravaganza, which is going to take place on November the 18th. We've got two more beauties with us. Um, Charity, how are you this morning? I'm doing great. How are you? Doing very well. Janice, hey, darling. Hey. Good to see you. It's good to be here. We want to talk to you girls. Talk to us a little bit about yourselves, okay, and share with us about what you do. Janice, you ready? I am. Okay. The okay. floor is yours. I actually have a hair salon, and this business, Southwood Designs, we actually put it inside my salon. Um, we're located in East Dublin. I have a friend, and we started the business together. Mm -hmm. So, and my daughter's actually got into it with us. So, keeping it in the it's family. It's expanding. Janice used to cut my son's hair. I remember we first came here to town trying to find a, a, a stylist, and here you go. We met at McDonald's. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And so, um, and you're kind of, you're associated with the church, you attend the church there. And so what made you want to even be involved with First Church of Nazarene? Uh, I guess the people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I knew a lot of the people. I attended a, another Nazarene church, and so I knew a lot of the people at Dublin. And yeah. Great bunch of people, aren't great they? great bunch. All right, Charity, what about you? Uh, my name's Charity Strickland, and... Um, I, my business is High Cotton. Mm -hmm. My sister has a business in Pensacola and she was um, actually a member of the Nazarene Church when she lived here. And her business is called Primrose Peach and we both do the same thing. We paint and um, take special orders. We do a lot of painting of hymns, um, mm -hmm. Bible verses, um, kids silhouettes, right. um, trays with um, the wedding date. Look at that. Now, did you go to school for art? I graduated from Georgia Southern with interior design. Oh, there um, we go. So there were a lot of art classes involved with that. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. this enables me to stay home with my little three-year-old. So I'm very thankful. <laughs> Such a blessing. And so here it is, lady. Now, you were part of the vendors uh, from last year. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes. And this is your first time with them? It is. And so share with us about what you're going to um, be displaying and selling on the 18th? Um, we're going to have a lot of pretty jewelry with us. Oh, Lots great. of bracelets. You know there were several bracelets at one time. That's a new thing, right? Love, Stack love. Em. Stack them. <laughs> Stack them. got some really cute <laughs> earrings mm -hmm. and choker necklaces. Rose gold is really popular now. It is. It's coming back in. We're going to have um, a lot of different t-shirts with some cute country sayings on them. <laughs> Uh, we're going to have some nice. cards that my daughter designed. So. Keeping it in the family. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a lot of good stuff. And so if you could do an assessment, um, Charity, on how things went for you um, and tell us about, you know, um, 
not just bi you know business wise, but just the atmosphere um, that we were you were in. Um, people were coming through all day. It was a very busy day. Time flew by. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. We our booth was set up right near the little cafe area, so right. we got to talk with all the ladies that were eating lunch. Uh, or snacks during the day and then when Santa Claus came in you know that was real exciting for everybody even you know even yeah. us adults so it was a great day we had well, a good when we, time. When we came through we actually got the opportunity to kind of interact we were like oh my god and, and you know and the atmosphere was really great it was a great atmosphere and when you think about the purpose and when you think about the people the women that are involved in this I mean I think it has a trickle down effect and so it was a great atmosphere great great vendors now uh, Janice here you are, you're a hairstylist, and now here you are, you're going to be a vendor mm -hmm. at the Holiday Extravaganza. Now, um, was it difficult for you to decide which items you're going to have on display? I'm still working on it. Still working on it, yeah. yeah. You still have a few weeks. I do, I do. You still have a few weeks. <laughs> and, you know, um, what would you say to the people to kind of get them, to get them excited about coming out? What would you say? I would say there's going to be a lot of uh, different stuff there. Mm -hmm. um, do you want me to let's go ahead yes, and mention yes, some of the people us, that's going to be there? That's right. Um, Gifts from the Heart, mm -hmm. which is Miss Maxine Barnto, mm -hmm. and she's got wreaths, jelly, woodwork, gift items. Um, we have Tacoa House Pottery, and I heard she was there last year, and it was mm -hmm. great. She does um, the handmade pottery. Young Living Essential Oils is going to be there. Holly Smith, and she's carrying the essential oils keepsakes, which is crochet hats, scarves, sh uh, shawls, mm -hmm. um, bees knees, which is natural soaps, lotion, and sunscreen. Everybody's wow. into natural. Uh, backyard Shed, that's Mr. Uh, Ronald Daniel. He makes the famous homemade pound cakes. Oh, he's great. So he'll have his homemade pound cakes and uh -huh. canned food items. Uh, I think that's it. And so all of these vendors, are they basically from Dublin? Or are you kind of pooling outside of Dublin as well? Some of them are from outside. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's a mixture of And them. I know from hearing the list, a lot of them are coming from our farmer's market. We had the opportunity uh, to go out there and meet some of them. And so we're going to see a lot of familiar faces. And just to see the gifts and talents that people have. And you say a lot of people are into natural and and you're right, and they're doing things with their hands, you know. And and Charity, here you are. Hold up some of these things that you have. I mean, you mentioned them. Yeah. But um, the people need to really see. These aren't finished oh. yet. I still have to, to wax and sand. But uh, everything is stained and hand-painted and then sanded and um, waxed. And How long does it take you to do something like that? Um, Half a day, probably. Probably wow. about four hours, four or five hours. That's beautiful. Yeah. What else do you have? Um, these here are the trays that have been really popular. Mm -hmm. um, I do a lot of family plaques with the established date, so uh, initials and their last names really are, are big sellers. Love that. And then um, oh, look at down here. There it is. Here's That's another tray on. here. Oh wow! <laughs> It's got the, the family names and then the oh, last name. <laughs> That's really, really beautiful. Thank you. And then we'll have just generic items just to decorate your home with. I um, love that. And when did you start this business? Uh, last uh, year, last spring. And your sister? Uh, yeah. From mm -hmm. Pensacola. Yeah. And she majored in art as well. And she's, she's phenomenal. She can do anything. <laughs> Look at all of these gifts and talents that God's given you, ladies, and how you're putting them to work. Now, did you make your jewelry? Some of it's made, and mm -hmm. some of it we we make ourselves. We right. have uh, children's jewelry, also. Um, yeah. We can we can special if you order it. We can special make it. Really? Mm -hmm. All right. So this is going to be an opportunity for you all out there to come and partake in such a wonderful, wonderful event. And you know, with us going last year, it was just really awesome. My sister and I were there for. Hours. And she talked to more people than I did. And I remember um, something in particular, of course, we loved. We loved nails. We, you know, it was just um, the, the warmth that we felt. It was a sheer warmth. You could tell that you loved Jesus. 
and we could tell that you know everyone was welcome because it's not just for people that are part of the Nazarene Church and That's faith. Right. Is that correct? That's okay. right. All right. And so listen, girls. All right. Give your public service announcement <laughs> <laughs> to the people out there of why you are um, wanting them to come out and, um, and what's important uh, to you with your faith and how it kind of translate in the work that you do. And that's one thing that we did start with when we started our, our little business. We wanted to meet new people. Mm -hmm. We wanted to be able to share our faith and just be out in the community and, and reach out to people. And this is how you're doing that. Very good. Ms. High Cotton, <laughs> let me say this about Charity. Uh, Charity and I were in a computer class together my senior year, and she was a freshman, and we had the best time. We cut up so much, I have to paint now instead of working on the computer. I know, we cut, up, <laughs> we cut up so much. And I was telling her off camera, I was reading through my, my class yearbook, which is going to be 30 years next year, and she wrote in there, I don't think I've ever seen you wear the same thing twice. <laughs> And that goes for today as well. <laughs> oh, my Lord. And so I, I always have known you to be a sweet soul. Well, thank you. Always have known. And here you are to see you in doing the ministry and the things that you do and to, to meet your kids. And they tell me who they are. And I'm like, oh, my God, I love your mom. <laughs> and so this is special to have you on the couch with us today. Well, thank you. And so, you know, finish up for us, all right? Well, we just hope that you'll come out and shop with us and have a wholesome family day out at the market. All right. You've heard it, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Give us the times again. November the 18th from 10 to 4. From 10 to 4. That's going to be at the First Church of the Nazarene. Their holiday extravaganza. You're going to be in for a treat. So make sure that, let all, that you let all of your family and friends know that there's going to be a great event for you all to attend wonderful items that you can purchase of course with christmas just around the corner you girls are good yeah all right that's all the time we have here on tv 35's real talk and please keep watching